Merry Christmas and Happy Holla. Two weeks till Christmas. Is everyone getting excited? I know I'm excited to try these beers today. And uh, let's see. Ooh, we have, we have some good ones here. We have a Burr Hoppy Ale. I believe this is the Widmer Brothers uh, Brewing. I think they're also out of uh, uh, the Pacific Northwest. A hoppy red, oh, that sounds good. And then we got uh, some more hell. Um, this German beer here. We're gonna start with this one today. This is uh, Marie Hasbrendel Has Hell. There she is. What a lovely Bavarian girl. And she's holding one, two, three, four. So she's holding four beers in her one hand and five in the other. That's that's pretty impressive. And that's not just like arm strength either. That's like grip strength to hold all those beer steins and be able to like take them to the uh, the table. Good on Marie. She works out. I'm glad, I'm glad she gets a workout. Lifting all those beers and brats. All right, let's see. Oh, this is a, a pale yellow. Nice blonde color like Marie's hair there. Very clear, very pure, just like she is serving these beers. And it smells like a, a, a nice fresh beer. Ah, full of flavor and tasty. This would go well with a pretzel or a brat. I, I think this beer really captures the essence of Marie. In heaven there is no beer. That's why we drink it here. I'm excited for all the different foods that I'm going to have around Christmas time. We all have our different food traditions. And in Japan they have one that... I wouldn't be mad about starting here. They uh they get buckets of KFC. Like you have to order buckets well into a well in advance in order to get a bucket of fried chicken for Christmas time. It's it's kind of crazy. Apparently it was some marketing um plan that they started in the 70s, but it's just become this tradition now where the Japanese people have fried chicken and I can't think of anything better than having a big old bucket of fried chicken on my belly with a couple sides, got my mashed taters over here, got my mac and cheese, maybe some green beans just to keep everything moving, and uh, you know, some biscuits, oh, just all around me on Christmas Day, that, that, that'd be a tasty meal. Dreidel, 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 I made you out of clay, dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. All right, our American beer today is Burr Hoppy Red from uh, Widmer Brothers in Portland, Oregon. And this is their Northwest Red Ale. And I like good red ale. They're very tasty. And, oh, this has a nice golden brown color on it. Got a little bit of red in there. Oh, it smells hoppy. Kind of, it reminds me of a pale ale. The smell does. So, I'm excited to see what uh, what flavors this beer brings me. Oh, it's a lot creamier than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be nice and smooth. Um, kind of like the last beer, but it has a nice creamy uh, mouthfeel to it. Uh <laughs> Phrasing. Um, I've lost my train of thought. This is a tasty beer, though. It tastes more like a pale ale than a red ale, but um, yeah, I I really enjoy this. This is a tasty beer. I uh, saw so mommy kissing Santa Claus. Another. Uh, Christmas food tradition or a holiday tradition that my family has. We have cheese and crackers uh, usually for lunch on, on New Year's Day and uh, it's usually the spreadable cheeses but it's always always very good. Pairs well with a nice summer sausage and uh, it's a good time. So let's see what today's cheese is. It's 
another long one today. And I'm amazed I haven't had more paper cuts from all these cardboard boxes. And this is, oh, it's a jalapeno gouda. Oh man, look at those big old chunks of jalapenos in here. Um, I wonder, I wonder if the, the flavor of the gouda and the jalapeno mesh well together, unlike um, the that pepper one that we had where they just literally put giant things of pepper in there. Um, mm, it smells delicious. Mm. Oh, there's a pano. Kick it in. Oh, it's got a bit of a kick to it. You know what? This would be great. Melted down into a grilled cheese Sammy. That'd be real nice. And pair it with this beer. Mmm. That's a new tradition I can get behind. Come Santa Claus, here come Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. Well, Marie here is a good Bavarian girl that you could bring home to mom. But I got to say, the American beer is the winner today. This is the best one that I've had out of the American Advent calendar. And I wish I could find this in my local grocer's store. Because um, this is a tasty beer. So one for the Americans today. I think the total count is seven to four for the, for the Germans. All right. Time for our white elephant one and uh let's check they seem to be all of the same one this one's heavier i'm gonna push that aside all right we're down to these two i think i chose red yesterday didn't i yeah um you would think i'd remember day to day but i don't <laughs> it's like i drink beer or something uh, i'm gonna go with the the white one today let's go with the silver Let's reach on in here. It is a can of some sort. I think it's a beer. Ah, yes. Oh, oh boy. I'm excited for this one. This is uh, Rheingeist out of Cincinnati. This is their Hoppy Holiday Ale. It's called Dad. And I like the, the um, tartan pattern around there. Uh, this is a 6% beer. Um, this was very tasty on draft at their uh, brewery there in Cincinnati. And I would highly recommend going there, hang out. They have a rooftop uh, bar too. We didn't go to that, but um, hopefully in the future. They also have a place, uh, OTR Chili, that's right next door to it. And the chili looked really good, but uh, I had already eaten and I was too full for the chili. But next time, I'm eating the chili. All right. Nice, kind of a hazy color to it. Mmm, it's got those nice holiday spice spices, yet a little bit of hop to it. Ah, and again, smooth, kind of, kind of got the hop and the the spice to it. This is a this is a tasty beer for Christmas Day.